Welcome to our Microchips Briefing show, where we dive into the electrifying world of tech and innovation. Today, we've got a lineup that's sure to spark your interest. First up, NVIDIA is on a mission to become the TSMC for AI by expanding its horizons into software services. CEO Jensen Huang has unveiled a new platform aimed at making it easier for developers to create and deploy their own AI products, setting the stage for NVIDIA to tap into a broader revenue stream beyond just chips. It's like they're building a superhighway for AI development. Moving over to South Korea, there's a new player in town aiming to give NVIDIA a run for its money. The startup Rebellions is developing an AI chip called Atom, boasting to be up to five times more power efficient than NVIDIA's A100. With plans to mass-produce these chips using Samsung's tech and a hefty $124 million in funding under their belt, Rebellions is all set to shake up the AI chip market. Meanwhile, in the US, suppliers to giants like Intel and TSMC are hitting the brakes on constructing chip facilities in Arizona due to skyrocketing costs and a labor crunch. It seems like the chip saga continues with its fair share of twists and turns. But wait, there's more. NVIDIA isn't just stopping at AI platforms, they're also unveiling new superchips called Blackwell, promising to be a game-changer in AI computing. These chips are not only faster but also boast significant energy efficiency improvements. And in a move that's sure to accelerate the future of driving, NVIDIA is deepening its ties with Chinese EV maker BYD, bringing AI and autonomous driving technologies to the forefront. From powering humanoid robots to navigating the choppy waters of international trade and shipbuilding, today's tech landscape is nothing short of thrilling. So, buckle up and stay tuned for all the details on these stories and more. Please continue to watch for the full scoop. NVIDIA aims to become TSMC for AI with new software platform. Nikkei Asia. NVIDIA has announced that it wants to become the TSMC for AI as it expands beyond hardware and moves into software services. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang unveiled platforms and tools at the company's annual conference that aim to make it easier for developers to build and deploy their own AI products using pre-built AI models. Huang referred to NVIDIA as an AI foundry and said that the company's AI foundry service will streamline the process of building custom generative AI models and accelerate AI product deployment. The move comes as NVIDIA aims to tap into a larger revenue stream beyond chips. South Korea's NVIDIA wannabe to mass-produce AI chips with Samsung. South China Morning Post. South Korean startup Rebellions is developing a neural processing unit, NPU, chip called Atom that is designed to compete with NVIDIA's A100 graphics processing units, GPUs, in artificial intelligence, AI, inference. Atom chips are up to five times more power efficient than NVIDIA's A100, with lower latency, according to Rebellion's CEO Park Sung Hyun. Rebellion's plans to mass produce Atom using Samsung Electronics 5 nanometer technology in H1 2022, with South Korean telecoms company KT as its first customer. Rebellion's has raised $124 million in funding, valuing the company at $650 million. South Korea is aiming to grow the share of locally developed AI chips in its domestic data centers to 80% by 2030. Rebellion's next-generation NPU, Rebel, is being developed with Samsung and will target large language models. Park expects Rebellion's market share in inference chips for language models in South Korea to grow 30% in 2.5 years and its global market share to reach 3% to 5%. NVIDIA currently controls up to 90% of the global AI chip market. TSMC, Intel suppliers delay US plants on surging costs, labor crunch. Nikkei Asia. Construction of several chip supply chain facilities in Arizona has been delayed by at least five suppliers to Intel and Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, due to soaring costs for building materials and labor, as well as a lack of construction workers, sources said. Chemical and material makers LCY Chemical, Solvay, Chong Chun Group, KPPC Advanced Chemicals and Topco Scientific have all postponed or scaled back their projects, sources added. The delays may prove temporary, while some projects could be subject to later review. NVIDIA unveils Superchip successor to all-conquering AI processor. Japan Times. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang has unveiled new chips at the company's GTC conference in California that are aimed at solidifying its position in the artificial intelligence AI computing market. The new processor design, called Blackwell, is significantly faster at handling AI models, both during the training process and during inference. The chips, which contain 208 billion transistors, will be used in new computers and products by major data center operators such as Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and Oracle. These products will be available later this year. Tech giant NVIDIA unveils higher performing superchips to power AI. Al Khathera. 
NVIDIA has announced its latest family of chips for artificial intelligence, AI. The company unveiled the Blackwell platform, which includes more powerful processors and software, and claimed the new chips are four times faster and 25 times more energy efficient than the previous generation. NVIDIA's GPUs and software are a key component in the development of generative AI and the company's share price has risen by around 250% in the past year. The Blackwell chips are expected to further solidify NVIDIA's position as a major supplier in the AI market. NVIDIA deepens BYD ties as it taps China EV makers' demand for AI. Nikkei Asia NVIDIA has expanded its partnership with Chinese EV manufacturer BYD to include AI training, autonomous driving, and in-car computing. NVIDIA will provide BYD with its DriveThor in-vehicle computing chip platform, which uses the company's latest AI chipset, Blackwell for AI and autonomous driving applications. The partnership will also extend to factory planning, with BYD deploying NVIDIA's AI infrastructure to train AI models for autonomous driving and using its Omniverse 3D graphics platform to improve the car buying experience. Several other Chinese automakers have also agreed to adopt NVIDIA's Drive Thor for their next-generation EV fleets. NVIDIA adds generative AI to power humanoid robots. Yahoo! NVIDIA has announced a new hardware and software platform that will help in the development of human-like robots. The new platform will include GenAI, a tool that will help the robots respond to inputs from past experiences and demonstrations. The computer system that will power the robots is called Jetson Thor and will provide enough computing power for the robots to perform complex tasks and interact with humans and other machines. Ships, not chips, could offer China an edge. Bloomberg U.S. labor unions are calling on the government to protect their jobs in the face of China's growing shipbuilding industry, which they claim is threatening U.S. economic and national security. The unions argue that China is using unfair trade practices to control the maritime, logistics, and shipbuilding sectors and undermine the U.S. economy. They are calling on the office of the U.S. Trade Representative to investigate China's actions, potentially leading to retaliatory action. However, while concerns over China's maritime capacity are valid, it is unlikely that the U.S. will be able to catch up in shipbuilding in the near future due to a lack of infrastructure and workers. AI hype doesn't feel anything like a bubble, strategist. Yahoo! NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang has unveiled a new AI GPU chip called Blackwell and announced a partnership with Synopsys. The chip is expected to ship later this year. Synovus Trust Senior Portfolio Manager Daniel Morgan believes that NVIDIA and other AI stocks are not in an AI.com bubble as the companies have good earnings, established businesses, and cash on the balance sheet. He believes NVIDIA will benefit from the AI market and expects this to show up in the stock price. NVIDIA unveils new AI platform Blackwell. Yahoo! NVIDIA has unveiled its new AI platform, Blackwell, at its developers' conference, GTC. The platform allows organizations to build and run real-time generative AI on trillion-parameter large language models at a lower cost and energy consumption than its predecessor. NVIDIA expects companies such as Google, Amazon Web Services, Meta, and Dell Technologies to use the platform. The chip has 208 billion transistors and will allow large language models to scale up to 10 trillion parameters. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.